you don't mind me asking, how you know how big is God in your life? You know how much has that affected you know everything you've done? I up in? I've been raised in a Lutheran family. We go to church every Sunday. I have a prayer book. I read every day, mm -hmm. and I try to I I don't read it enough, but I try to read the Bible as much. You know, I my goal is five pages a day. You know, and there's a lot of people out there who would say, "Whoa, you read you know you do that," and then there's a lot of people out there that do ten times that. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, my dad, my mom and dad raised me to be a caring, loving person, um, and that's what I try to pride myself on every day. Be caring, be loving, you know, be able to reach out to someone to make sure they're okay. Um, and, you know, I rely on, you know, I know God's got my back. You know, I'm not stressed about, you know, X, Y, and Z. You know, there's a lot of things going on in the world that everyone doesn't see that are very terrible. So mm -hmm. when you look at it from that point of view, you know your life's you know my life's not that bad i got an amazing life i've been blessed beyond imagine so you know i say my prayers every day and i go from there oh <laughs> that's definitely making the cut <laughs> <laughs> the cameraman the camera. throws the dime to the the case tater the incoming frosh Mm. From way outside. Yeah, actually, my my senior it was our senior night. You know, I where they moved the new college line to. I'd say, what do you think, right here? Yeah. I'd say probably yeah. about right here. Mm -hmm. So I was shooting most threes out there. My senior night, buddy got like went out for a layup, kicked it out. I caught it about. He he poked it out. I caught it about right here. No hesitation. Just that. I knew that one. So. Oh yeah. I kind of walked down the court, looked over at my coach, and he just went. <laughs> you, know, you made it. I don't care. That's what Weber would do. But if you if you don't hit it, he gonna be screaming. Oh man! Oh man! What was it? Did you see the game where he got got intense? You sit here going over the, going over the ref, going back, going over. Oh the ref. yeah, and then you can saw him through his mask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like shaking. Yeah. Like, you know, but it's like you see that stuff. And it's like yeah. there ain't no coach that's gonna you know put that much energy into the game for his guys if he doesn't mm -hmm. care. You know, he cares. He, you can see Coach yep. Weber cares arguably you know more than any other coach I've ever been able to play for. Yep. And that's you know I've had. My, my own opinion, some of the best coaches and best people in my life through basketball that have cared about me and about the game. So, mm -hmm. you know, I know I saw that one. And one of my buddies sent this and said, you're going to have a good time. Just don't piss him off. <laughs> I was like, yeah, thank you. Like, that was from way outside. I miss this, it's not going on. If I make this, it's going on. I'll try it. And then let's talk about, you know, the K-State team coming in. Obviously, it's a little different even from last year. So, K-State obviously is coming off, you know, two seasons where they struggled, you know, mightily. But now, you know, they, they made some additions in the transfer portal, and now it looks like this team could really, you know, put on a nice show, be in the middle of the pack of the Big 12. Oh, yeah. I mean, What do you think about all that? You know, a lot of people have had their own way of saying things to me, you know, this, that, about the other year, last year, the year before. And I'm mm -hmm. like, you guys say what you want. I know what we got coming in. You got to think, there was how many freshmen last year? Four, five. Uh, you had the three, Nigel, Davion, and um, Selton, who played a lot. Luke came in later because he was injured. So that's four. Siri Lewis, that's five. five. And... Um, that's the five freshmen that came in, and then there was three newcomers on top of that. Okay. And so, yeah, Rudy, yep, it okay. was a lot. So just, I mean, the things you're seeing there, I mean, you got to think. There's three freshmen playing right now, mm -hmm. and now we're talking, this is the Big 12. This is a very big, um, prestigious con con conference, yep. excuse me, um, that played quite a lot. You give them a couple years, you give them a year even, mm -hmm. a year, sorry. And you give the guys newcomers, newcomers coming in a year. Now you're talking about a team that's not just competing, but they're winning. You know, now you got guys coming in a very good recruiting class with my, with Maximus Edwards, mm -hmm. and then myself following. 
Um, and then three transfers, or yes, three transfers in Marquise, uh, Mark Smith, and Ish. All great guys, yep. all very talented basketball players. So everyone can say what they'd like to say, but this K-State this year and for the next years to come is going to be very different than the past two years. You know, we're going to start to do what we can and work as hard as we can to be that Big 12 championship team. Not, what was that, three, four, how many years ago was that with Dean? Uh, two years ago. Okay, yeah. sorry, yes, yes, three, okay. three seasons ago. Three seasons mm-hmm. ago, that's what we're going to start to, sh- you know, yep. transform into. So we talked a little bit before we got on. You said Maximus Edwards is someone that you talk to more than, you know, anyone else on the team so far. You're, you know, fellow freshman, incoming freshman. What are the kinds of things you guys talk about and, like, how excited are both you guys coming in? Max is a great guy. I mean, we we Snapchat a lot. We text. We FaceTime almost every other day. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a great guy. You know, I got – when he first committed – you know, we kind of texted a little bit back and forth. And I was like, is this type, is this guy big time in me? Like what's going on here? And then we started talking he was like, no, like there was so much going on and all this other stuff. And you know, Max is a great guy. You watch his highlights. Yep. He's the real deal. The mm-hmm. guy can shoot, the guy can jump out of the gym. He can handle the team. Um, and him and I, we talk about all different things from mm-hmm. the college life to our own lives. What are you doing here? What are you doing mm-hmm. there? Um, I'm bigger and stronger than you. No, I'm bigger. <laughs> than, you know, just like teenage guy stuff. So, yeah. you know, he's a really good guy. And, you know, I look forward to creating a very good friendship on the court and off the court. There's some guys on the team that got bounce, bounce. I don't got that. Bounce. Well, you got Maximus. Siri's got some bounce, I was too. Say, I saw some. Siri had something on his story yesterday. <laughs> where he, he was dribble, dribble here, and then just like boom. boom. And I was like, right. <laughs> "You run on that side, I'll run on this side. I'll just you throw it. Up. I'll throw it up. You go get it." <laughs> That's his, yeah, man. You, there's some athletes for sure. It's gonna be a fun time, man. I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. Just working. You're going to a place where it's it's going to be more familiar because, you know, it's a smaller town in Manhattan than, you know, if you're going to like some big school with a, a giant city connected to it. But what is different is all the new people that you'll see um, and just the mixtures of cultures and everything else. You're used to the Midwest. We've talked about that, you know, fun loving people all the time, you know, oh, yeah. ready to have conversations. How cool is it, though, now to be able to a new situation with, a, a, you know, a whole hotbed of different types of people? Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I mean, from what I, you know, all the people I've talked to, I, I got added to this uh, Kansas State group chat a long time ago, and it was like, it's got like a hundred something new kids on it. It's like mm. these freshman kids, and I yeah. just like like to look in the chat, and these are all kids coming to Kansas State, mm-hmm. and you know, it's, we're all 18 year olds, you know, yeah. we're like, holy, you know, like, wow, we're about to be freshmen <laughs> and everything, and you know, there's going to be so many new faces I'm going to see, so many new people I'm going to meet. Um, I think it's going to be so much fun, you know, to be able to walk outside and go out of my camp, you go out of my dorm room and be able to see all these new people and say, hey, how are you? You know, meet these new people, mm-hmm. new teachers. Um, so I, it's going to be very enjoyable. And then, yeah, how big is academics to you? I mean, are you, are you, do you know what degree you're going to go into and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yes. I am going to study business. I'm going to major in business um, and then uh, real estate as well. That's going to be my main main gig as of right now you know Mm -hmm. everything stuff can change like that so that's what I'm going to do at the moment academics is something you know unless you're a five star who can come in destroy the you know destroy whatever conference you're in and get out of there and be a one and done Mm -hmm. you know you want to have something to kind of rely on you know outside of basketball Um, so it's something I'm going to take a lot of pride in to go there get off to a very good academic start and hold that through until I graduate. So how often are we going to see your parents in Manhattan? Oh, geez. I, don't, I mean, my, da- my dad, for he's, you know, every single game he'll most likely be at. Um, yeah. He's the one driving me down, driving me to Kansas. So, you know, him and I are extremely close. And uh, mm-hmm. my mom, she'll, she, she might be moving to Florida. So I have no, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, she, I, I said to her, I was like, man, if you're moving to Florida, I mean, that's some nice weather. I don't, I, but <laughs> so, you know, I, I think she's going to be there a lot too. Um, both great relationships with both my parents. So I think we'll see them there quite a lot. I think they'll enjoy it too. 
I mean, I don't know if there's anything else we need to add to this, but if there's anything else you want to add, I know the last thing that you definitely need to say is, you know, go Cats and tell tell everyone, you know, what they can get excited about in Logan Landers coming to K-State's campus. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to getting to Manhattan, getting settled. I'm looking forward to getting up super early, working my butt off with all the guys on the team. And I'm, we got an interruption. <laughs> and I'm looking forward um, to winning games. Yeah. You know, not just winning games, but winning games with the guys that I'm going to call family. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Kansas State's been where I've wanted to go, and I got the blessed opportunity to go there. So I'll, be, I'll see you guys in three weeks. Go Cats. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you're what, 6'9"? Six, 6'10". Nine? Six, nine, yeah? six, uh-huh. Yeah. So, I mean... You know, like Siri, and he can sit there and jump out of the gym. Like, At 6'7", uh, or whatever he is, 6'8". Like, like, <laughs> yeah, he said something like that one time, we're like, let's go shoot. Let's go shoot, and let me see if I can shoot you. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, like, be like, guy wants to out dunk me, all right, but I'll come and I'll shoot you, yep. Splat. Woo! Ooh! Coming to Manhattan soon. Mmm, mmm.